In this video, I'm going to show you what stocks and tools I use to make a passive income. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how to make a passive income. I use a few different tools and so I'm going to talk about those first because they're incredibly important for making sure you get the most out of your money from the stock market. The first tool is called DivCalc and DivCalc is an incredible application on your phone. You plug in any stock and it tells you how much money you're going to make every month, every year and so on. The cool thing about DivCalc is that the premium version and the free version are incredibly helpful in letting you know how much money you're going to make based on how much you put in the market. The cool thing about DivCalc too is that even the premium version only costs a couple dollars and when you use that premium version you can calculate your entire portfolio and it tells you exactly how much income you're going to be making from the money you put in. I use a lot of different tools but for your convenience and to save you time I'm just going to list them all down below. You can go through that list and figure out which ones work best for you. Personally there's a few of them that work really well and I'll make sure to note that down below and what they do. Now let's get into exactly what stocks make you the income and how to do it. I've compiled two different lists. One is safe and reliable and the other is what I call the naughty list. The naughty list has some stocks on there that have very good dividend yields. However, some of these stocks are much more risky and they're individual stocks so there's definitely more risk involved. Now let's get into what they are but before I do, I do need to mention that I'm not a financial advisor. Everything in this video is entertainment only and I'm just talking about what I do in the stock market to make a passive income. You won't necessarily have the same results and I don't want to get sued so don't sue me bro. The first stock on our safe and reliable list is called Noble, N-O-B-L. You can search this up on your brokerage to find it. It's a dividend aristocrat ETF. And what this means is that this one stock owns shares from a bunch of different companies and each of these companies has increased their dividends every single year for 25 years or longer. There's extremely reliable companies in that list. And so when you buy Noble, you're buying a very reliable stock that will consistently give you dividends every single year, no matter what happens. My second favorite stock is called DVY. DVY does have higher returns and it's a similar concept. It's an ETF, it owns a bunch of companies, and each of these companies pay really solid dividends, and DVY performs really well and gives really good dividend income. The next stock is a right, a real estate investment fund. What this means is that you own one stock that owns a bunch of real estate, and you get some of the dividends from this real estate. The real estate stock is called T-Rex. T-I-R-E-X. It is considered the best real estate investment fund that you can invest in. It's the most reliable, and when you buy into it, you're going to make a really decent income. Before I go to the rest of the stocks, make sure you go down below and click the subscribe button. It only takes one second and you can always just change your mind later. Now let's get into the naughty list. These are all individual stocks, so of course there's more risk. If one of these companies goes out of business, you will lose your money. So don't put as much into these. However, they are really good yields, and so why not? It's worth a shot. The first is AT&T, and this has an incredible yield of over 6%. This you won't find almost anywhere else with a trustworthy company, so AT&T is a really good stock. Next we have Verizon. Verizon has a slightly lower one. However, it's still a really good dividend yield, and of course, it's a trustworthy company. And then we have Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Both of these are also excellent stocks with really good dividend yields, and of course, they're trustworthy and have growth of their own. Finally, we have two that I would not recommend as strongly. However, they're really good options if you're interested. First is HP, which is Hewlett Packard and a very good company and decent individual dividend yields, as well as Antero Midstream. If you want a really good temporary dividend yield, it's an excellent company that's trying to do well. However, there are some issues and a lot more risk with this one company. Of course, for your convenience, all these stocks are listed down below, including their ticker symbol, so you can easily find them on your brokerage and start investing and making a passive income right away. Not a lot of people have a good passive income, and there's a good reason for this. So I'm gonna share with you three tips that I wish I'd known earlier. First of all, invest as early as possible. Most of the growth in the market happens in short bursts, which means that if your money is in the market, you're gonna catch those bursts, and your money grows exponentially the longer it's there. Second, make sure you invest as often as possible. Invest, invest, invest. The more money you put in the market, the more money you'll have later. And lastly, avoid unnecessary risk. Even one bad stock that you buy can destroy your entire portfolio's gains. Make sure you don't make that mistake. Invest very carefully. Try to use the first three I mentioned and not individual stocks if you can. And make sure that you're very careful whenever you invest. Passive income depends on growth as well as making money. Because if your stock falls 50%, but you're making 10% from dividends, you're still losing a lot of money. So always be very careful what stocks you invest in. Avoid any risk and invest wisely. And invest often and invest as early as possible. If you do all of these things together, you're going to be able to 
to make a really nice passive income. Of course, I do make a passive income, so I wanna help you out. If you have any questions or you didn't understand something in this video, first go down below to the description. In the description, you will find all the information you need. If you have any further questions afterwards, make sure you go down to the comments and ask me the question and I will try to help you as best as I can. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and have an incredible day.